This is the L&R 2014 ultrasonic cleaner. We've taken it out of the case here because what was running a bunch of uh, smoke came out of it, it stunk up the place. Got it outside here. It's hooked to a ground fault here. And if I turn this on here, it's got ultrasonic action. Put a head in here just playing around. It's definitely, you can put your fingers there and get the tingle. There's the two transducers on the bottom. But anyways, over here, there's a cap, C1, on uh, looks like a filter board, and the top of the capacitor here is uh, popped out. That's like right there. And so hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. I'm going to have to figure out what value that is. This one that's over here, in the center of the screen says 0.1 microfarad, XF. And this other one looks like it's bigger. The drive transistor in there looks like an MJ12005. It's got an 8702 date code. And this case just comes off with some uh, quarter inch little hex screws. There's about I don't know, about a dozen of them. And it's pretty, the wet design's really cool because you can take it apart here and it's got enough length here so you can still run the thing without any jerry-rigging. So here's the pan. Over here is the drain on it. This was bought about uh, probably 20 years ago at the TRW swap in El Segundo, California. And again, there's the two transducers. This cup holds a milliliter, or a liter, and I put almost two of them in there. So this might be, I don't know if this is a three liter container. So hopefully, this is just a filter cap here. If anybody's got a schematic of this, uh, or anyway, link appreciated if you know what the value that one capacitor is. This might just be a filter cap, a filter deal to uh, filter out any nasties going into the uh, circuit board. Oh, or maybe it's to prevent stuff from going back on the AC line because this was used in the hospital. And it looks like it's got uh, C4, C3, E4, E2, E1, and C1. Those E's are the connectors, and the, uh, those other ones are just the inductors. So it looks like an LC network just to filter out trash, and for some reason that one could resistor there. It looked probably as a polypropylene uh, decided to let go and it spewed the whole place with a bunch of funk. What happened is on here the timer got stuck or something. This is the timer for three minutes. Nine, twelve, and there's the hold. If I haven't used this in a while, I like to keep track of it. Again, this is an LR212, and it appears to be working. I thought this thing was dead in the water. Did a Google search. Couldn't find a schematic just right, but my belief is that little circuit board there is probably just a filter. So we're going to leave this undone and just kind of see if we can find what the value of that capacitor is. That's a print cartridge of PFO4. And that one's clogged up a year or two ago. I was just seeing if you could uh, unclog that for a little while. 
And doing that, sometimes you completely tear the uh, head up. That's about a $500 head. And we're not attempting to clean it right now. But that sure looks like a filter board on there. I need to just get the scope out and probe around because probably just directly feeds through what it looks like. Probably prevent trash from getting in there. Looks like right there in the center, that's a 555 timer. And we got some inductors. The driver again is an MJ. Looks like a 12005. Got some big caps. This is RIFA on the part that's broken. This is 271M. And 250 volts. Let's turn this thing off for a second. 250 volt SH. PDE, neutral DE. So that may not, if that's sure that's a MOV. It's got S, N, D, F1, Y on it. I'll have to do some search to see what that mystery part is. It says C1 on there. But it sure gave a big stink out when it uh, let go. So we're good in the water here. Again, that's the L&R 2014. Day code on here is about 78. I bought this in 92. It came from the TRW swap meet. This is from a hospital, 1FR141, and it's probably out of Subic Bay uh, when they shut down the Navy or whatever back in the early 90s. Got a lot of the stuff at the TRW swap meet. There's the case. And we do have this hooked up to a ground fault because I'm playing around water here which is good. This is kind of hokey to do this because when you've got this running, the spray will come up and land on the circuit board. So this is a kind of a neat design that you can pull us even farther away. Could put a wall up here, prevent some spad run there. And there's some more mystery devices on there.